So here we are, roughly halfway through the game when we finally get our first minecart level. We got two minecart levels in DKC, and it seems like Donkey Kong Country 2 isn't content to just give us more of the same. This time around, we get three. The minecarts have been swapped out for skull-shaped roller coasters, and each one brings a new take on the iconic minecart levels to the table. This is part 21 of Overthinking Donkey Kong Country 2. Before we talk about the levels, let's quickly take a second to admire the visuals here. This is the first of only two roller coaster levels. Yeah, there's a third, but it's got a different setting. You'll you'll see what I mean. The stage itself isn't anything special. I mean, it looks fine, but it's the background that I'm most impressed with. In a game that's generally so somber, and don't get me wrong, there's still darkness here, this level theme is like a breath of fresh air. You really get the feeling that somewhere just out of your reach, people are having a good time. Too absorbed in the moment to even be aware that you're there at all. It's a beautiful, moody environment, made so much better by the fireworks in the background. Combine it with the music, and it's just a blast to be here. The gameplay is all about the roller coaster ride. You jump off the platform, over the zinger, and into the barrel, which shoots you up and onto the cart. The roller coaster is a skull with ruby eyes, but when I was a kid, and a teenager, and a young adult, I always thought it was a mouse. I know. Either way, it doesn't look comfortable. The level assumes you're up to speed with the minecart mechanics and wastes little time in throwing the new element at you. This time around, it's the check and X barrels, as they're called. The first check barrel is right by the gate, and so by design and context, its role is easily identified. Ditto the X barrel, which shows up after the fourth gate. Instead of opening a closed gate, it closes an open one, so the player needs to check their impulse to jump for each barrel. It's simple, but it's effective, and there's nothing wrong with any of that. A bit before that though, we get to meet Clank. Clank is this game's crash. Instead of being based on Critter or Clump, he's a Cutlass variant. He's also the enemy with the most variations in the game, something we'll talk about in a couple videos from now. There's a bonus level here that takes us to a new tile set. We saw that kind of thing a lot in Donkey Kong Land, but it's pretty rare in DKC too. What I like about it is it's hinting at the next level, both in visual theme and gameplay, with Squawks returning. And that's about all I care to say on this level. I could say more, like how the flitter appearances go from platform to optional bonus item, to platform to necessary item, to two platforms to necessary item, to stepping stone over a pit, casually ramping up the stakes, or how the level introduces so many elements early on, but does so in a way that the only time the player is conscious of it is when it feels like they stumbled upon things of their own curious volition. But it's all much of a muchness, and no different from pretty much every single level in this amazingly well-crafted masterpiece. Target Terror gets harder and throws the occasional curveball, but it's all just variations on things you'll see at the start. As for story, I don't really know what to make of it. There's a few things I could say, but they're all complete speculation, so take them with a grain of salt. The fact that this is the closest we get to seeing a town or something for the pirates tells me that their priorities are fucked. While their king lives in a huge castle, they're reduced to living either in a shipwreck or a theme park. Wouldn't put it past them to have decided to build said theme park instead of a hospital or homes or whatever either. We could also theorize that this roller coaster, despite being made for fun, could also serve as a legitimate means of traversal. Could explain why the Kongs are on it. That said, maybe they stumbled upon it and got taken for a ride. If it were a movie, it'd be a pretty fun scene, with the clanks racing up to stop them, and the gates shutting nanoseconds after they make it through. I do love that the game held off on rehashing one of the first game's most iconic level ideas for so long. This game is overflowing with good ideas, so it's good that they front loaded it with the new stuff. There's another roller coaster level coming soon, and in my opinion, it's way better than this one, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.